Welcome to Dead Space, the 2023 remake. I just finished recording the Callisto Protocol over on my Patreon channel, link to that in the description if you want to check it out, and that was basically a spiritual successor to the Dead Space series. That put me in the mood for more Dead Space, and that's when I realized, right, there's been a remake of the original. I've actually played all three of the original years back, but I don't think I've posted them anywhere, I, I don't think I recorded them. Okay, let's start a new game. I've played for just a couple minutes to make sure everything is set correctly. Uh, for the difficulty, let's go with hard. Isaac takes much more damage, enemies take much less damage. Just to make it interesting. I hope I can change that after I start, just in case it's way too hard. <laughs> we'll see. Interesting thing to note, by the way, that you'll see in this intro, they didn't just upgrade the graphics, they made some significant changes, apparently. I'm not sure exactly what they are altogether. But one thing I do know is that they made the main character more of a character. Uh, they actually have a voice now. They used to be a silent protagonist. I think it's me. Oh, I wish I could talk to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. Oh, I just wish I could talk to someone. It's all falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. It's strange. Such a little thing. That's her? Nicole? Yeah. First I've heard from her in weeks. We're five minutes out, you still got that thing on repeat? Guess you really miss her. Bishamer is not a job you turn down, but six months apart with only fit calls. It's rough. Easy to say the wrong thing. I don't blame you. I'd listen to my girlfriend over Hamlet reciting security protocols. Forewarned is forearmed, Miss Daniels. So you keep saying. Here we go. Nice clean re entry. Hey, you just said. Imagine six months staring at that chunk of rock. To an independent miner, that's paradise. Aegis 7 is one of the richest finds in CEC history. Some prospecting team set up for life. Now where is she? There. Confirming visual contact with USG Ishimura. What a beauty. Biggest planet cracker in her class, you know. And it looks like they already popped the cork. Why is it so dark? We should be able to see her running lights. Yeah. I'll get us into hailing range. Someone's got to be waiting up for us. Just be careful on the approach. I'm not taking any chances with the CEC's pride and joy. No chances, huh? Is that why you were digging into my personnel files before we left? You track your file access? I'm a computer analyst. It comes with a job. I ran standard CEC background checks, Miss Daniels. If you want to work in the big leagues, you have to play ball. <clears throat> Sir, we're in hailing range. USG Ishimura, this is the emergency maintenance team of the USG Kelly responding to your distress call. Come in, Ishimura. Ishimura, do you copy? Come in. This is the USG Kelly. You ever hear of a full communications blackout on one of these things? Never. Come on. Someone pick up the damn phone. Sounds like their communication array is busted. Maybe a broken encoder. Daniels and I can handle it in 48 hours, Max. Hey, that gives you plenty of time to catch up with Nicole. Yeah, I hope so. Jen, Johnson, take us in. Gravity tethers engaged. Automated docking. Here's a go. I'm losing control. We're on course. Daniel! Guidance system override isn't responding. Shit, shit, we're coming in too hot. It's gonna smash us into the hall. Jen, aim for that emergency stabilizer. There, the blue light. It might slow us down. Got it. Drop the flash shield. Everyone brace themselves. Uh, Ankle. 
be broken. Shit. But better than a broken neck. Or worse. Good call on the stabilizer, Isaac. That I always read the manual. What the fuck's going on with flight control? That guidance system's a death trap. Better add it to your repair list. Jen, what's our damage? Compter down. We lost poor booster. We've got a fire in one of the stabilizers and... Singularity cores of mess. Could be worse, but not by much. Then let's get some help. Johnston, stay with the Kellyan. We'll send a medic. Everyone else, with me. Yeah, it's a hell of an intro. I love it. I think it's such a strong intro. Sorry if the video ends up a little bit choppy, by the way. My computer can kind of barely play this game. Text log to Zach Hammond from blank, routing the background request. Ah, it's the crew. Like dossiers on each of us. Don't really feel like reading this. I never found the story all that interesting or important. You can pause and read this if you'd like. This docking bay looks just like I remember it, but better. May as well get signed in. Welcome, Isaac Clark, to the USG Ishimura. Rig synced. Collect kinesis and stasis modules from Acting Chief Engineer Jacob Temple. Location? Error. Employee not found. I can't read security. Same for the chief engineer. What is wrong with their comms? Money. Another log. This article is actually kind of interesting, even though it is sponsored, apparently. <laughs> A little bit of history on the USG Ishimura, named after Hideki Ishimura, who uh, was an astrophysicist and inventor of the Shock Point Drive. This ship was the first of the massive planet cracker ships, and it's been operating for 62 years. I need that damage report. I love how it's like obviously blood. Try that security console. But also they kind of make you doubt it a little bit because there's what looks like a spilled coffee cup here. So is it really red or is it brown? You don't know. Not exactly sure. Maybe someone just fortified their coffee with beetroot powder. Oh god, that smell. What have you got, Isaac? Shit. It's not just comms with the guidance system. Half the Ishimura's in the red. Engines, hull, the trams. What could do that kind of damage to a planet cracker? Maybe the planets are rising up. Power. Ventilation's up. Power to the elevator should be Hazardous anomaly detected. Quarantine activated. Another malfunction? No. The quarantine systems are all fine. Oh, wait. Do you hear that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I hear it. Hammond? Take it easy. Daniels, get those elevators running. There's something in here with us. Up there! Oh, God! Get out of there! Hands up the door! I got it, I got it! Oh, no! I'm fine! I'm fine! I'm fine! 
Now we're covered in coffee. All right, let's grab our first weapon. Plasma cutter. Basically the pistol. Although, unlike in some games, I think it remains relevant throughout the entire game. I gotta say, this is so similar to the Callisto Protocol. I cannot believe how much they ripped off the Callisto Protocol. Shameless. Oh, I really like the, uh, the way the light beam focuses when you get close. I don't know, there's something about it that just looks extra realistic. Not exactly sure what it is. And we have the, the classic. I don't know if, you know, I don't know if Dead Space kind of started this trend or like, what was the first horror game that had bloody graffiti? People would write just everything. They just had a compulsion to write with blood on the walls. Certainly one of the earliest I remember. But yeah, cut off their limbs, so limb dismemberment is absolutely vital. In fact, this gun actually, you can switch the direction that it shoots at to knock off different limbs. Some money and or ammo. Yeah, these blue crates can be stomped. And this is pretty much as far as I played. I think I opened this, and then I think I didn't really play much further. Of course, I played the original game, so it's going to be pretty similar. But it's been years since I played that, and I have not played too much more of the remake. Okay, first enemy. Let's cut off some limbs. Let's go for the feet. Let's go for hands. Arms, I mean. Don't forget to stomp. They always drop loot. Or, I don't know about always, but often. Stomp everything. <laughs> Fucking disgusting. But you never know if they might have loot. Be careful with these. Enemies often come out of these. Jesus Christ. Oh. Yeah, I've got the audio really high up. So the jump scares might actually scare me. Security request retrieved. It didn't die. We shot that fucker right between the eyes and it didn't die. Smith had to shoot its fucking arms and legs off. For God's sake, send help! I don't think there's actually any point in stomping not enemies. I, I don't think they ever drop anything. Medbacks, how do we use that? Use it to immediately restore health. B, to use the health back. Let's take a look at our inventory. We've got a decent number of slots. Yeah, down on the left we have credits, so we can use it at the store. Nodes, I think, are collectibles you can use for upgrades, I think? Or like skill points, basically. Uh, we can upgrade our suit at some point. Right now it's a level 1 suit. 70 seconds of air. There's going to be some sequences where we need to use our air. Don't remember what the armor thing was about. If it even was a thing in the original game. I saw some of them were wearing Ishimura uniforms. They're the crew? How the hell can they be the crew? Look at them. We need to get to the bridge. There's a thousand people on board. Someone will be there. We can't. The tram system's wrecked. Everything's locked down because of the quarantine. And you're both repair techs. So how do we do this?
There's a broken tram car blocking the tunnel. It's gridlocked the system. And the data board's burned out. I can't lift the lockdown or call the tram until we get a spare from the maintenance bay. But it's all on Isaac's side of the quarantine. I'll handle it. Just make sure there's power to the repair systems. And Isaac? Yeah? I'm sure Nicole's okay. She's a doctor, right? She'll do the smart thing. Yeah. Yeah, she always does. Find somewhere safe. I'll be back soon. Get the tram running. No, oh, I think this is where we need to put the circuit once we get it. Alright, use these safe stations. heels got a lot of ammo thought I heard something dismemberment conserve ammunition by dismembering enemy limbs yeah, we can slow enemies down by cutting off their legs, for example. Are you gonna get up? Yeah, I thought so. I don't know if a headshot's worth a damn. Oops. What is this? Is this new? I don't remember this from the original game, but I could be wrong. Okay, so I can only provide power to one thing at a time. Well, what's... what the hell? Bye. Let's do, uh, cargo storage hole first. Can they open doors? Ah, my first node. I think you have to spend that at like some sort of upgrade station. Bronze semiconductor, I think you sell that. Oh, hello. Oh, man, I love how the fog looks in here. Makes it so moody. It's like nice volumetric light rays. Very pretty. Oh 
there's so many explosives. Eventually we'll get our telekinesis power and we'll be able to actually pick these up and launch them. God, you just hear them all around. Just skittering and a lot of the time I don't know if it's actually a real enemy that's coming for me or not. Okay, you're real. I think that's the thing I need in there. It's glowing purple. So I need to get power to it. That's where I... Yeah, that's where I came from. Don't know where we're going. up to aerospace engineering department shuttle repair invoice anything of interest in here a list of things that need to be changed. None of that seems important. Ah. I need the maintenance room open. I need the elevators open, so I have to turn off the lights. God damn it. seems a little bit stronger than the others.
I think there's one behind me. Poker invitation to M. Smith from J. Wright. Keeping this off wriggling in case Benson's listening in. You in for poker tonight, or are you going to let Caitlin keep walking around with your credits? I'm in, but can you not invite Pavi this time? I know he's still blaming himself for Sorosi's accident and everything, but no one wants to hear about anyone's fucking nightmares. Especially that one where he saw Sorosi up and walking around with half his head missing. And don't give me shit about it, I'm serious. It's messing with me. Last night I had one of those dreams where you wake up, you know? But my dad was sitting next to my bed, talking to me. It felt so real I kept seeing him out of the corner of my eye all day. And trust me, that's one son of a bitch who needs to stay dead. Ooh. I think this is where we spend our nodes. It's this sort of weird node tree kind of thing. Yeah, for the plasma cutter, let's upgrade the damage. Let's see how much it actually changes. So right now my damage is 100 points. 110, so 10% more damage. That's pretty good. Could increase the capacity. Could also increase my health. Eh, let's go all in on the plasma cutter. Let's get one for capacity. From 10 shots to 11. Just one more. I miss the cool upgrade animations from the Callisto Protocol, where you put your weapon or device in the machine and then it like prints some new parts on it that actually makes it look a little bit different most of the time. That was really cool. Isaac, we can't stay here much longer. Hearing a lot of movement. I'm halfway done. Got a data board. Just gotta move the tramp. Okay, Daniel, watch that door. <laughs> Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I might die. Ah, heal. Yeah, you definitely take a lot of damage. Maybe I'll do another heal just to be safe. Yeah, they didn't even get me up to max. That'd be me.
Yeah, I should probably save again. I remember that door. That's, the, I think, the first thing we use stasis on. The, like, telekinesis magic-y thingy. Gross. What are you doing there? Fuck it. <laughs> Stasis module. Ugh. You can slow down enemies and fast moving objects. Hold and then why do you stasis? Okay. I don't remember if stasis recharges with time or if you have to use a station. No, but I found a stasis module. So I'm faster than I got it. Stasis pack. You can use stasis packs in the inventory. Oh, you just press Y to use it. Man, they've done a very... Oh. Like the stasis wore off in the door. They did a really good job with the lighting. Like, just look at this light. It's so pretty. The volumetricness to it. It's lovely. What does that say? Something inside the vents. Written in blood, of course. There's gotta be one in these toilets, right? Oh, did somebody write a note there? It says, don't piss all over the seats, you fuckface, and wash your freaking hands. Yeah, stand by that. repair room. And they're giving us a lot of ammo, but it does take quite a lot of ammo just to kill one enemy. Message retrieved. 
Vents into engineering. You got a stasis module handy? We need one in tram maintenance stat. The autoloader's fried. I got a damaged tram car on the tracks, and if the whole system's gridlocked, guess who they're calling? Assemble here. Stasis module out. What happened Blowing to the autoloader? System no idea. A lot of shit's been breaking down. I can't hear anything. Down in the gears where, where no one could be. Autoloader no. malfunction. Please contact a repair technician. Manually attach claws to initiate repairs. I think the uh, stasis like spread to them. Okay, if I remember right, we need to stasis this arm. So it stays. So we have time to go over to the other one? Yeah. It's been years since I played the original. I don't know why I remember this. This rather inconsequential puzzle. I always like to go for the legs first to slow them down. You got it. The tram was jamming the whole system. I'm heading back to tram control. Should be able to talk to a ride to the bridge. Good. Just hurry. I keep hearing noises right under our feet. for later. Now 
more on board. Something hit the roof, but it seems operational. Quarantine lockdown is lifted, so you can get to the hangar. Comms are still down, though, so be ready for anything. What's the plan? You and Johnston fix up the Kellyan. We report to the bridge. Standard emergency protocol. What? Protocol? Hammond, people are dying here. And I'm not losing anyone else. We stick to procedure. We'll get through this. We'll see. I don't really know if there's a procedure for this sort of thing. Christ. Oh my god, it makes a noise. Is there some sort of achievement with them or something? secrets over here. Still out. Isaac, we need the Killian fixed now. Got a damage report? 
Uh, yeah, it, it's there. That thing's never going to fly again. Man, they're really tough on hard. Isaac, what's happening down there? Johnson's gone. Kelly and Till. The Singularity Court overloaded. No! Kelly was our only way home. We're trapped. No! I'm not losing two good people for nothing. What about the command computer? It's a brick. All the primary systems are locked down with the captain's codes. So we find Captain Matthias. Track his rig. Okay. okay, here. Captain Benjamin Matthias. Location medical. Status deceased. Even the captain? God. Isaac, you're closer to medical. You can double back and cut through maintenance. Find the captain's body and get his rig. With his codes, we... What was that? Chen? Okay, Hammond, run! Daniels? Hammond? Shit. Well, I'm gonna end the episode there. Hope you've enjoyed so far. I certainly have. This remake is really good. And when I return, we're going to head to the medical deck and try to find the captain's codes. <laughs>